Five capturing these images when a tear gas canister successfully flushed the suspect out of his pickup truck. He briefly tried to run down an alley before surrendering to deputies. Earlier in the standoff, the driver attempted to back into deputies but was boxed in by one of their units. A previous attempt to force the driver out with tear gas failed when he threw it out the driver's side window. The driver was also seen huffing gas out of a giant tank in between yelling at deputies. The suspect took deputies on a chase through Compton all afternoon until he ran into a dead end against a wash. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department says he's also facing a charge of assault with a deadly weapon against a deputy in addition to reckless driving and DUI. And we want to go live now over the scene to Gil Levis aboard Sky 5. Gil. Mike and Mary Beth, a, a relief for this neighborhood for sure. This is where it all came to an end about a half hour or so ago. You can see the street here, Poplar, is where it uh, came to an end here. But uh, they, they've quickly cleared the scene here. They moved the car. They've cleared out the SWAT vehicles. And uh, still Wilmington Avenue is still shut down at this point. But uh, it was a, quite a dramatic scene as the Sheriff's Department uh, sent in a drone to distract the driver. At the same time, they popped some tear gas into the vehicle and that was enough to drive the suspect out of the vehicle climbing out of the window and then he tried to make a break for it tried to run down the pathway along the wash but quickly went to his knees and surrendered that uh, brought it to an end the uh, special enforcement bureau of the SWAT, of the sheriff's department doing an excellent job to bring it to a peaceful conclusion now this neighborhood returning to some peace here but again wilmington still shut down between rosecrans and arbutus that's the latest overhead up in sky five i'll send it back to you in the studio all right gil thank you